All right, time to install the autofill. I have my cool template here. This is the optimum spot for our autofill to be on the Helix skimmer, just like that, All right? So I've got a cool guy template here. I'm just gonna mark this. And that's where we'll drill the hole through. Okay, once again, I always like double checking my bulkheads. You do not want to drill the wrong hole. So there's a nice one. This one's a little tight, you see? It doesn't quite work. And this one's perfect. It's a little big, but gives us play in there. So that's the one we're gonna use. Once again, we're gonna put this bushing on the inside. When you see that rubber bushing on the inside swell a little bit, that's when you know you're the right spot. Okay. Put this back together so all the pieces are in there the next time I need it. So the autofill we're installing today is gonna connect to a hose bib. That's how this one was already set up. You'll see the autofill um, valve is already in. We have Teflon tape on this piece and this piece. I have a, another little fitting that we're gonna screw on the outside here, and this is our quick disconnect for our quarter inch tubing. We'll show you how that's gonna go, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get this installed on here. Okay. So here's our hose bib with our quick disconnect. So I don't need all of this, but what's important is I always blow this out. Watch this, I'm gonna turn it on. Squirt the water into the pond. Sometimes you'll get sand in there or dirt when you're working on the job site. And sometimes uh, you'll blow the sand right into here and it gets right into here so the valve doesn't work correctly. So I always double check that. So let me show you a trick as I go to cut this. What I wanna do is leave myself a loop or so like this, and that'll be here. So I'm gonna tie that here off right now. I'm gonna come around the bin. I don't want a bunch of extra laying across the way. See how I can connect it right here? But what I wanna do is leave myself two more loops like that. So I'm gonna cut this. So there we go. That blade's a little dull, of course, right now. Okay, so see how I have a loop back at the, at the valve, and then I have a loop right here as well. So if I ever want to do any repair work, I can. Make sure this is not disfigured. I'll push this guy in just like that. And then I'll have a little loop that I leave right here. So if I want to do any repair work in the future, and then I can backfill all this and move on to the next step. You want to make sure you compact around that fitting right there really well. Get some good compaction. 